Hi and welcome to Knit with Hannah. I'm Hannah. I've got a tutorial for you today showing you how to knit butterfly stitch. Hi and welcome to Knit with Hannah. I'm Hannah. I'm here with Knitting Natter to help you learn to knit the easy way. Yes, it's butterfly stitch today. Maybe you've heard of it, maybe you've come across it before, but it's something that I've come across in the last few months and I've actually really loved using it. And I've just shifted it and moved it and kind of practiced with it and experimented with it myself. As we go into the tutorial, I'll show you how I've used it in the kits as well. But the uh, most important thing here is that if you're gonna use the knitting kits that are in our shop that are releasing this week, then we're knitting on circular needles. But in this tutorial, I'm also going to show you how you can knit butterfly stitch on single pointed needles. So going backwards and forwards over the row rather than only round in one direction. The first thing I'm going to show you is how you create these little loops over here so you can then make the butterfly stitch. If you can take a look here, I've already done two strands and we need to do the third one. I'm going to knit across this and um, just show you how I do that. I'm just going to knit across to where I'm taking those loops across. So here we are, we've got five stitches and we're carrying the yarn across. So I've moved the yarn in front. You can see the um, yarn is stranded across in front of the knitting there. And what I'm gonna do is slip the stitches. So you're gonna make the needles pretty much sit next to each other and just move the stitch from one needle to the next. So it's going from the left needle to the right and I'm doing that for five stitches. Now I want you to spread them out a bit. So they're sitting on the needle and they're not scrunched up. They're sat nicely, nicely loose over there. Okay, so now we can knit the next stitch and knit this one not too tightly so that this doesn't end up um, tight and pulling the stitches together. And now we knit four more stitches. So that's five stitches in between the strands. I'm going to do the same thing. So yarn goes to the front and I'm just going to slip these stitches over. That's five stitches. Make sure that they're spread out evenly. Yarn comes back again because we're knitting the next stitch. And then I knit them not too tightly so that yarn strand that we've moved over in front of the knitting isn't pulling the stitches together. Okay, so you know how, you know how I do that going to go across the rest of the row and finish off slipping those stitches. Okay, now I'm going to go backwards and if you're knitting the butterfly stitch on single pointed needles like this, you will create the butterfly, so to speak, um, from the back. So that's what I'm going to do now and I'll show you how we do that. So I'm going to knit the um, border stitches. And then we need to knit, purl rather, we're purling across this row all the time. So we're going to purl the first two stitches because that third one is right in the centre of the butterfly stitch. So I'm now going to purl those two stitches. And then this is the butterfly stitch right here. So the right hand needle goes into those three strands here. It pulls across, pulls them up and then... I go into the next stitch as if I'm purling it just like normal. I do purl that stitch, put it on the needle, and then I move the needle back round and over the top of those strands. So I've caught that in the purl stitch. I will show you that again. I need to purl across to the next stranded piece. Right, we're in the centre of that stranded piece again. So, we're going to do the butterfly stitch. The right hand needle goes underneath those three strands. So, underneath them and behind them. Now, I put the right hand needle into that stitch and I'm purling it. Just that simple. I'm purling it just like you would normally do. So, the yarn is at the front 
it's going around the needle I'm pulling that loop through that's your purl stitch and now I'm going to pull that needle back around underneath and over the top of those three strands and that is now the purl stitch that is a butterfly stitch so what I'm going to do is just purl across the rest of this row I won't do the butterfly stitch because I want to show you it from the other side if you're doing the butterfly stitch on circular needles which you will be if you're using one of the knitting kits quite likely um, I'll tell you more about them in a second then you will be using circular needles and the butterfly stitch needs to be done from the same side as all the other rows so you're not knitting rows from one side to the other you're going round and it's always facing the same way so you don't have pearl rows every single row will be knitted okay so here we are we're going to imagine this is now circular knitting and we're going round and round and round right so i'm now going to just go into the border here and i'll go into the center of the butterfly area here the center of those strands so i'm in the third stitch in here I'm going to move my needle, you can even see it even better here, underneath those here, underneath those strands here. Yarn goes into the stitch, uh, the needle goes into the stitch as if I was knitting it. I do knit it. I take that stitch off of the left hand needle and I move that needle back round. That's exactly what I was doing with the purl side, but... I'm knitting the stitch instead of purling it. I'll show you that one more time. We do have the chance to do that here. Okay. Two more stitches. And then the butterfly stitch. So the needle goes underneath those strands and behind them. Into that stitch. Yarn goes around. Knit that stitch. And then that stitch comes back around with the needle. And it's caught those stitches along there there you go so we can now see that it's caught the butterflies have been created with those stitches that we've caught in the stitches there so then we carry on stranding more and creating more butterflies so it looks um, from a distance you can actually see um, like diamond shapes the uh, diagonal shapes rather and you can just see the texture but close up it's so intricate that you can actually really enjoy what you've got here. Um, I love using this tweed with it. For some reason, especially these bright colours um, that we have for some of the felted tweed, um, like this um, ginger, for example, um, then the um, texture really shows up as you're close up to it. And the shadows really show up as you're further away as well. So I really like that. It's almost like it's hidden butterflies. So I love that. So that's butterfly stitch. And let me just show you in more detail the um, cowl and the cuffs that um, use the butterfly stitch that are in the kits. Um, there's the cowl that I've decided is going to be nice and tall and more close to the neck than some cowls. Um, I actually really love that kind of cowl because it does keep you very, very warm. And the cuffs. Um, I love finger mist bits, but I was just inspired by a couple of things to create the cuffs instead of um, bit fingerless mitts. Great, thank you so much for joining me today. I will put the details of how you can find out more about the knitting kits, the shop, everything that's going on in there um, below in the description. Do, so do go and have a look. Sign up for the waitlist and the emails um, will be going out. They already are going out, but you can get details and you can get priority into um, checking out and uh, putting things in your basket as well. Right, I will see you again soon. Thanks so much for joining me. Bye, Bye for now. Happy knitting.